Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll explain step-by-step -step on Windows 11 how to share a folder on a network and password protected so that only the user with the password for the shared folder can access it. Password protected sharing limits access to authorized accounts, prevents anonymous or guest access over the local network, and makes it easy to revoke or change access by modifying a single user account. This is a simple and effective way to keep sensitive files accessible on your network while reducing the risk of unintended exposure. Okay, let's begin the practical step-by-step -step process. First, I'll create a new local user. In the search box, type computer management and click to open it. The account I'll create will only be given to the person or computer that needs it. This means I'll give the credentials for the new account to the person I'll share the folder with. Rather than relying on public or guest accounts, select the local users and groups section from the left, then select the users folder. Right click on the right side and select new user. Then enter the new username and password for this user. For example, name it Ashare. Select both the user cannot change password and password never expires options and click the create button. This is the first step as anyone with whom you will share folders will need the credentials of the user you just created. The second step is to create the folder and share it correctly. Now, create a new folder and give it whatever name you want. Now, right-click on the folder and select Properties. From the Properties window, click the Sharing tab. Then click Share button. Here you will find the name of the folder owner who created it, who has full permissions for the folder. Now add the user I created. Click the arrow to open the user's drop-down menu. Select the user A Share and click the Add button. Then select the permission level for this user. You can select Read and Write and click the Share button. Wait a few seconds for the folder to be shared. Now click Advanced Sharing to further control sharing permissions for this folder. Here, check the Share this folder option. You can also share it with another user but I won't do that now. Next, click Permissions to add the user a share and grant them the appropriate permission level. In the Permissions window, first remove everyone, as this grants everyone network access to any user. Removing it prevents anonymous or unauthenticated access. Then click Add, add the A share user and then the permission level you want to grant. I'll grant it full control then click the Apply button and OK. Now click on the Security tab and click on the Edit button and make sure that the user A share is added in this list. And if it is not added, click on the Add button and add it and also grant it the level of permissions you want. And finally, click on the Apply button and OK to save all these changes to the permissions of this folder sharing. The next step is to make sure password protected sharing is enabled in your network settings. To do this, open Windows settings, select network and internet section on the left and on the right side, click advanced network settings. Then click advanced sharing settings and make sure the file and printer sharing option is enabled. This option is very important. Then click all networks and enable the password protected sharing option. Enabling this option forces remote devices to enter a valid username and password before accessing network shares. And if password protected sharing is disabled, Windows may allow connections without credentials. So this very important option must be enabled. Before opening another computer on the network and verifying that the folder is shared with a password, I will teach you how to find out the IP address of your computer on the network by executing the ipconfig command in the command prompt window. In order to facilitate access to the folder from another computer on the network. After finding out your computer's IP address, open another computer on the network. Open the run box and enter slash slash followed by the IP address of the computer containing the shared folder, and click OK. You will immediately be prompted to enter a username and password. 
enter the A share username you created and the password you created. After authentication, you will see the shared folder and can open or copy files according to the permissions set for this folder and the user privileges you entered. I think the steps are very simple to give a shared folder a password, and that's all in today's video. I hope this helps you secure your shared folders. If you like the video, click the like button, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more practical lessons. Leave a comment if you would like me to explain how to remove or change access later. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.